there's one badge that your player needs to have in the game, what is it? Catch and shoot. Yeah, at first, because uh, at the beginning, when your, when your grade is low. And those will be our starters. Some intriguing matchups on the floor tonight. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you exciting NBA action. This is Brian Anderson. Joining me, analyst Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill and reporter Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Thanks, B.A. Well, the Celtics obviously one of the more talented teams in the league, but Coach Ime Udoka said, quote, it took... Yeah, it just doesn't want them to be predictable. Thanks, Allie. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. And for Boston... And we're expecting an intense battle in the front court tonight, Graham. Both teams with a lot of talent in those positions. You know, B.A., it'll be an interesting matchup here with the talent and size of their front court. It should make this game extra challenging for these squads. They can't just count on being the dominant force down low. They'll have to get a little creative. Down low. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Here's AI. Drains the triple. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at it. Oh, my man. How wow. about that? Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? And that was our AT&T 5G slam cam, bringing you the sauce. Oh, and makes Number it with four. the kiss. I like the intention, the focus, finding a way to make it work inside. And RJ, you look at the road the Celtics had to the finals last year. Man, that's as tough as it gets. Number yeah, seven. When I tell you, going through Assist Durant and through. then Giannis, and then you saw the way Number that they pushed them, and then you see the Warriors in the finals as a reward, that is as tough of a road as you will ever find. And I don't see anything phasing this team now, B.A. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Following the bucket by the Celtics. To the wing, right side. Down to five on the shot clock. Off the mark there with a three. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Second chance shot. And he lays it up and in. Five points in the game. And right away, he's going to work on the boards, just fighting for every rebound. A really good start for him overall. He's already having a big impact on this game. And it's in there. They've really come out swinging, hitting four of their first five shots. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Takes the three. That one doesn't drop. Now Chicago takes it the other way. To the right side. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. Pounding it inside early and often. Setting a physical tone. Boston trailing. Tipped away. And now the Bulls in transition. They get it again. And the layup is good. Ooh, he's piping hot. Four for four from the field. No one can guard him out there. Boston has gone one for three from beyond the arc. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Number 10. First. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. At the line for your Celtics. Number 15. At the line for two shots. So hits one and misses one at the line. The Bulls have got six of eight shots to go. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. He's coming to work, ready to ball, hitting three of his first four shots. Okay. 
There's a minute 17 left to play in the first. From deep three-point range, no good. That's his third miss out of five attempts. Out to the right wing. Count it. One for one to start the game. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. The Celtics have gone four of eight and looking in control. It's tipped. Here we go. All alone. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Number 14. At the line for two. The first one falls. It's both from the stripe. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Let's a three fly. Knocks down the triple. Give him eight. Defensive mix up there. He's the last guy you want to leave open. That one goes. Count it. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. The Celtics have gone five of nine from the floor. We've got 22 seconds left in the first. Can't hit it from 12 feet. Ooh, he trains the three, but let's see. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand at times. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time or not? Yeah, they're going to review that shot to make sure he got it off in time. But I think it's going to count. And as we conclude the... All right, fans, give it up for... We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Guys, we've seen a confident-looking Bulls team out there. Well, clearly, they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. They are playing for one another and focusing on making winning plays. You love to see it. On the court right now, Number second 10. quarter for the Bulls. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Chicago foul, number seven. First personal foul, first team foul. So it's Boston now, trailing by 13. Blocked! Tough break for the Number defense. 15. I mean, he took the hit, First but he didn't get the call. Foul. It's time to First take a glance foul. again at that superb block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. A little mid-range shot is up. They grab their own miss. Out to the right wing. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Three points. Proving once again, he is one of the best shooters in the league. Launches it. Connects from downtown. And <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain the triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Releases. And Chicago again with a bucket. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Boston calls timeout. Grant, we always talk about great footwork for post players, but how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, B.A. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score, whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post-up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who could do it all 
have superior footwork. Believe that. And he dumps it down. A bit undersized. His hops make him a legit small ball four. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Austin again missing. Chicago has gone three of four from distance in this game. Uses the glass on the layup. And Chicago leads by 19. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Boston's gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials Number call the seven. foul, and he'll take two free throws second now. Personal foul, second team foul. At the line for your Celtics, number eight. At the line for two. Um, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. The Celtics making a switch here. And he makes both free throws. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Hey, yo, yo, right here. There's the triple. Oh, he nails that one. Three for four now. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D, avoided fouling, and got in perfect position to alter that shot. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Takes a three. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. And he's good on the first of three. At the line for three shots. And he's good on the second. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. And he nails the third. 124 left in the first half of basketball. Celtics foul, number six. Second personal foul, second And he knocks foul. down the first one. Shooting for Chicago, number five. And so he makes both from the line. A minute 20 left in the first half. Timeout called. The Boston, Celtics timeout. defeated by Washington in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. On the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. Yeah, if you allow a team to shoot such a high percentage in their own building, you're going to have a big hill to climb. One sixteen left in the second. Jacks up a three. Offensive rebound. Second chance effort. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. He's got five. And you can expect him to make it when the D is trash like that. From the arc. Gets the three to fall. Three. And Chicago leads by 20. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. 30 seconds left in the second quarter. 
And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. Boston has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. The three is up. Nails it from beyond the arc. And that's his first triple this quarter. Three total for the game. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. They have a confident 20-point lead right now. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. And don't go far. We'll be right back. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, Chicago holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They are in blowout territory, leading by 20. Kenny, give us your tip. Their passing was clearly superior in the first half. They were playing a team game, not one-on-one -on -one basketball. Good player movement, good ball movement, and they have a healthy lead to show. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? To be honest, them getting killed on the glasses like this is a little embarrassing, showing no physicality, a lack of heart, this is when fans start to feel the team, the team doesn't seem to care as much as the other team. They don't care, I don't care, Ernie. I'm out of here. And it's just about time. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Unable to get five the ball in bounds, and they got called for a five-second violation. Boston ball. Oh. Tries a three off the inbound. Knocks down the long chain. Give him eight. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Sends it home from three-point land. And Chicago leads by 20. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. And for the Bulls. on the clock he drains it as the shot clock ticks down and what a drive that was replay courtesy of mobile one yeah they have a long way to go but attacking the rim like that is a great way to start a comeback and again it's chicago with a three and the three-point shot, so important, Richard. That's something you added after you came into the league. What was that process like? Well, look, as the game tilted that direction, it, it was no secret. You have to put in that time. But what I try and tell people is that it took me three years before I was able to even become a consistent three-point shooter and another five before I became a good one. So as long as you're putting in the work, you're going to see the results. Those who evolve are those who stay around. Excellent execution coming out of the break. They've taken three shots and made three shots. Boston has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Yep, that one goes. 15. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. Number seven. To the inside. Good Number on the bucket. 21. Oh, coming out hot, hot, hot. Four out of four for the field. Okay. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Bulls foul, number six. First personal foul, first team foul. Goes up again. No luck. They battled on the glass, but they couldn't knock it down. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Fires in the triple. 
11 points in the game. His shot has been a one point from the opening tip. He's pretty much kept them in the game. Can't hit from in close. Boston has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not Number always five, linear. And sometimes three. as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular Solid. business. So it's interesting kind of being engaged, but and not being too right hands on and, and, and letting your people do their job to the best that they can. Now a timeout called by Boston. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. A line change here for Chicago. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. 4-3. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Well, his shooting is unfortunately not a big thing. And his lackluster accuracy Number is probably 11. the thing that's keeping them behind. And trust me, when the D's Number slow seven. to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they got to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, guys, Commissioner Silver's open to change. He said, quote, we're not beholden to pure tradition. We care a lot about it, but all of the factors I think about when we talk about changing the rules, I'm less concerned about that. We should live in the present, be respectful of those records, but also be willing to adjust when it makes sense. B.A.? All right, thanks, Allie. And it's the Bulls with the ball. The Bulls have gotten six of eight shots to go and looking good since the break. The three. And again, it's Chicago with a three. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. We've got 108 left in the third quarter. Boston, no good that time either. Banked it in off the glass. He's got 12. His shooting has been fantastic, and this team has leaned on him. Fifty-four seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. To the paint. And the layup falls. Number seven. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Twenty-six seconds left in the third quarter. Hey, that's just their Number first turnover. 11. Overall, that's they've done a great job taking ball. care of the ball. And this second kind of selflessness ball. is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Out of bounds, it'll be Celtics ball. A classic breakdown with the ball, sending it right out of bounds and giving the defense a freebie. Number 10. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's the Chicago Bulls firmly in control with an impressive 28-point lead as the quarter end. And their three-point shooting, a big reason they have a sizable lead. Time for a quick break. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. 
and the NBA last season introducing a 100 camera system that allows for a video game like presentation with virtual angles. It's pretty cool. Video games used to chase the league. Now the league's kind of chasing the video games. Yeah, well, this is where the future is heading. It is so cool to see all the different angles that you can now see a basketball game from. That's what makes it fun. That's what makes it exciting. And the NBA, they're doing the right thing. And I know scouting departments are using them as evaluation tools as well. Oh, they're always going to figure out a way to scout more and to evaluate more because it helps them when they're negotiating players' contracts. And for Chicago, and for Boston, to the middle. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. The Bulls shooting a sensational 78% from the field in this game. A few possessions into the fourth, just over a minute play. Off target with a jump hook. The Celtics shooting at about 44% so far. Puts up a three. No good on the shot. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Fires the three. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. The Celtics have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. And a fast break now for the Bulls. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And an the important Bulls. part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the at Bulls. The line for one. And the Celtics making a change here. And the 75 list came out last season, the top 75 players in NBA history. RJ, who do you think was the biggest snub? Without a doubt, the biggest snub was Dwight Howard. When you see what Dwight Howard was and was able to do, and I understand if you want to look at the last five, six Number years of his career, but don't gloss Assisted. over the first ten. He Number led 20. a team to the NBA Finals, battling against the Lakers as the best player on the team, dominated the Eastern Conference, beat LeBron James, and we've seen how hard that is to do in the Eastern Conference. So, to me, he is one of the top 75 players of all time. And they recover it. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. Yeah, it's easy to see why they go to him so often because they know they can depend on him to come through for him. The Celtics have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. No good with the triple. Yeah, that's a shame, because I'm not sure the defense will let him get a shot that good again very soon. It's good. Number 11. He's got 19. And he's coming off a huge seven. performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. Goes up at the stripe. Doesn't go that time. And it's the Bulls' ball. They're on a 13-4 run. And last season, new trophies unveiled for the conference finals. Honoring Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Bob Cousy, Oscar Robertson. I love bringing up these names again. I agree, B.A. I mean, these are legends. These were those that laid the foundation for this league to be successful. So the idea of adding a little hardware and putting their names on it, I couldn't think of anything better. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Bulls. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered Number in their 14. approach. They just kept at Three. it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And it's a performance that will signify their fifth win of the year. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what will be only two meetings between these teams. Six to shoot. Oh, he tries a three. And it's Chicago with a board. 
No need to shoot. This one is done. Yes, they've got to be happy with tonight's effort. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that number two of the game, saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. That'll be a five-second call. Celtics ball. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in. So long, everyone.